there's a huge tug of war between SAFA and the PSL concerning the design of football in South Africa. Benele, summarize it in a few words for us. Hey, look, uh, for me, I think, uh, Jesse, this is something that's coming to kill uh, South African football, mm -hmm. if I'm being honest, because it's it's a fight that's never, ever going to end if you look at it from now. Like, uh, uh, PSL are basically desperate and begging Safa to sign those forms and be on the same side with and them, you know. And they're just being stubborn. And, 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 Sa and Safa is just being stubborn. Mm -hmm. But now, if you look at it um, long term, it's, it's, it's still going to be vice versa, where Safa needs um, the PSL, like, for example, with the Kosafa Cup, exactly, like how yeah. they needed them when they were, uh, the under-23, when they were going to Egypt. Mm -hmm. So, like in those non-FIFA break tournaments that pop up in Africa. So things like that. PSL also will be stubborn. So who suffers now? It's the players. So yeah. this whole thing, I think it's just coming to kill um, South African football. Something has to be done. They have to like see eye to eye or else we're just uh, going to play this game for a very long time and it's going to uh, kill the players. Chairman Ivan Koza said, watch this space in his PSL press conference. Mm. Safa came out with the letter saying no, no earlier than first week of August, perhaps enough time for you, what do you think? Hey, for me, I think Safa is just uh, being stubborn, like we said earlier. I mean, mm -hmm. this whole thing was being spoken about. When did the club start testing? I think uh, three weeks ago from now. Mm -hmm. What were the referees uh, doing all this time? I and mean, some clubs are completely second round of testing. Exactly, and the referees haven't been doing anything. And Safa came out and said the referees are unfit. And we, we must know um, there's no game that can uh, continue without our yeah. officials, whether we like it or not. So. Hey, Safa said uh, there's basically no game um, in July, only first week of August. And PSL was targeting the first week of August to at least be in its final uh, stages. Gauteng being the games where all the games, all the matches will take place. Happy with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm happy as long as they follow um, all the the, uh, the protocol, sanitizing and, and fogging the places and, and whatever. I think uh, Gauteng do have um, the facilities. I mean, they've got some uh, good uh, schools that uh, clubs can use, I mean, varsities, high schools. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and there's, there are a lot of grounds. So, yeah, but the big question is teams like Kaiser Chiefs, will they play at FNB? Will Pirates play at the Orlando Stadium? Yeah. Does that give but an unfair... Exactly. So, it's, it's all those uh, little bit of things. But at some point, there will be like some... Um, disadvantages and advantages to some club which we can't avoid at this stage and we can't be looking at fair in everything now I mean we just want the PSL to just play and finish well as long as football returns at yeah. some stage or another it's going to take a lot of discipline from the players coaching staff everyone involved in the club Absolutely. just to you know abide by the laws for now that's what we think leave your comments below should the league return anytime soon is it safe to do so in the first week of August let us know and hit that like button for more soccer betting tips and previews, get the latest copy of Soccer Betting News for only 10 rand at your nearest Hollywood Bets branch or news agent.